And right now it's time for that time when we talk to our special guest. Tonight our special guest is entertainer Jackie Clark. At a recent event I attended, Jackie was the MC. Wow, did she do a great job. In fact, Jackie is the star of everything. Television, stage and screen. Join me tonight to find out how she does it. Jackie Clark, welcome. Oh, thank you so much. The two-handed welcome. To the beat goes on. Oh, Only that. special people get the two-handed welcome. I'm feeling very special. You are special. Thank you. Jackie Clark, you, look, you've done that many television programs, haven't you, that um, well, I tried to count them and I got up to 300 and I thought, oh, <laughs> it's just hopeless, you know. <laughs> a man who has the fine art of exaggeration down is one of my favourite men. I love you already. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that's wonderful. But um, look, you were born way back in 1966. <laughs> It oh. doesn't seem that long ago. But I'm, you're a very young woman at the same time. It's it's odd. No, I am 51. I'll be 52 in March. Mm. But when I... I don't feel Nothing. 51. I don't know what 51's supposed to feel like, but yeah. I still feel... You know, twenty six. Yes. And um, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if he, whoever's feeling me is feeling twenty six, but that's what I feel <laughs> inside. So you know, it's a, age becomes <laughs> an odd thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, now look, your dad. Yeah. He was Samoan. Yes. And mum was Samoan too. Or? No, um, I'm a good old New Zealand mongrel actually mm. on my mum's side is um, all Pākehā mixture of Irish and mm. English and all sorts yeah. and on my dad's side it's uh, Samoan Scottish mm. his father was Scottish he ended up in the South Pacific ended up in Apia and fell in love with a Samoan girl oh. my grandma so where, where does your heart lie would you if you had to play for the uh, <laughs> for the World Cup Rugby <laughs> League would you be playing for um the Kiwis or Samoa? Oh no I'm a, I'm a Kiwi yeah. but I feel <laughs> as a Kiwi I feel mm genuinely that I'm a, I'm a Pacific Islander. Mm. And I actually think that that's an identity that all New Zealanders should mm. embrace. We are all from an island in the Pacific and we all have a responsibility to mm. the Pacific. So, you know, in the broadest general sense, I am a Kiwi, but I'm mm. a Pacific Islander because I proudly mm. want to look after the Pacific. Because we, we're mm. so lucky to live in this neck of the woods. Yeah. Also, your happy hunting ground was Christchurch as a young girl, is that true? Or? Well, I was born there. Oh, bo only born there? Uh, yeah, yeah, but we left before I have any real memories oh. of, you know, the Deep South, well not the Deep South, mid Canterbury. Um, but I, all I've got is, you know, like you have these photos that you brought up with as a, a kid. I've got little black, black and white photos yeah, of us in Christchurch with the white borders. And so I, I kind of, I've seen these photos so many times, I think, do I remember standing on that porch or do I just... <laughs> but we moved very early from Christchurch. I would have mm. been maybe two or three we moved to the East Coast. So all my formative years were um, in Gisborne. Yeah. Wow. Now, yeah. at some stage, mm. you were going to school... And you were a normal little girl, but you kept breaking into uh, some humorous uh, skittle with the kids at school. And when did you start thinking, gosh, I'm an entertainer? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm naturally chatty, mm -hmm. naturally, you know, always joking and... And I've always been an extrovert. And you see love, the humour in everything, don't well, you? Well, I do, and I, th yeah. and I think I get that off my mum. And I think, mm. I think if you have a sense of humour, it gets mm. you through most things in yeah. life. If you don't have one, then, man, you do it hard. And it's also yeah. the most refined form of mm. intelligence. Mm. And oh, if, if you can find <laughs> humour in a situation, yeah. it's the instant way of bonding you with you, you, mm. you with whoever's in the room because you can see a simpatico mm. thing going on. If you can find a, a play with words or a way of looking at things that twists things around that, that other people recognise, then they immediately go, I'm with you, mate. So, uh, so I, I, mean, I had that really early and I've always been a mimic. Mm. So I spent my youth you know, listening, singing along to the radio, basically. And then, you know, at school, the wonderful thing about school is if you want it, there are heaps of opportunities for you to mm. shine your light. And so, you know, I did, I did speeches what, and... What do you do when you meet serious people? <laughs> serious people who can't see the humour in anything? I'm always shocked. How, if how do you cope? I'm shocked because yeah. I have met people... And and it's honestly, just no humour in Well, them. honestly, yeah. I think they're on the Asperger's... Spectrum <laughs> because sometimes you do meet people who everything is face value yeah, and they yes, can't see the yeah. irony in mm. anything or they can't tell when you mm. when you're giving them a little wink and I think oh, how do you get yeah. through life because yeah. it's a whole level of social humor is a level of social mm. intelligence yeah. I think that that you know is is I, I've got lovely. a great 
uh, sort of a joke on, uh, you know, when I see a big spread of food, oh, yeah. you know, I always say, what's everybody else having? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and this person one day said, we're having the same as you. <laughs> you got through life with that? <laughs> exactly. You think, is that person a comedy genius? Or <laughs> no, I don't so, think so. Uh, you know, I often thought, you know, uh, I'm always seeing the funny side and things. And, yeah. Uh, and you get these serious people. Oh, we're having the same as you, you know. So, uh, but never mind. Yeah. Um, so you're at school, I and am. Um, then oh, what a wonderful voice you've got! And I'm going to tell our audience that uh, I heard Jackie singing. You're in the, uh, the, the, you know, in these wonderful bands, the Lady Killers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but um, what was that little piece that you did with Dame Kerry Takanawa? Well, wasn't that superb? <laughs> Thank you. Well, very the much. whole the whole audience. So we're talking about three or four hundred people went wow, and it was supposed to be a parody, wasn't it? Well, it is a parody. Yeah. I'm by no means am I a legit opera singer. No, but but uh, marvelous. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah. That's very nice of you to say so. But I have that's my one party trick, and I yeah. have been trotting it out for a long time. Many many years ago, um, I did have the opportunity to sing in an opera, and that was at the Mercury Theatre. Mm. It was all Polynesian cast, and we did Porgy and Bess. And so I got to sing Summertime yeah. every night and sing the whole opera, and I don't, I don't read music. I mean, mm. I've, I've spent my life in music and singing, but I don't read music. Mm. So that was an amazing experience. And I discovered very early on, through because I am a bit of a mimic, that I could easily make, you know, if, if you're going la, 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 you can just as easily go la, la, la. You know, it's mm -hmm. not hard. I, mm -hmm. I can, I know how to do that naturally. Yeah, yeah. So, because I am a Gisborne girl, mm -hmm. and Kitty's a Gisborne girl, this, mm -hmm. the, just this little story has developed out of a kind of a true story, and that's mm -hmm. the, 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 the old thing of, um, you know, being an outside, being in an outside environment when you're singing, and the lights are mm -hmm. on you, and there's bugs flying around, and so my impersonation of Kerry does involve a few impersonations mm -hmm. of, of a few bugs as well. Well, look, you brought the house down. <laughs> wow, we were so impressed. And that was when I said, I have got to get. Give me that girl. Give I gotta me get that, that girl. girl. Get her now. I don't care what it take. What it takes. Yeah. I need her on my show. Well, I did what it took. <laughs> Good on you, man. And I got her. So then you became an entertainer. You've never had a job as an accountant, school teacher, <laughs> candlestick maker, or anything like that. <laughs> no, but I did. I had no intention of becoming a full-time performer because I didn't yeah. really know th such things mm. existed. I mean, when I was a kid, our house backed onto the DB Gisborne Hotel, a very fine establishment, and I can remember <laughs> nights when people like Bunny Walters was in yeah. town, and then, then of course there was the classic 70s touring circuit, so you had Hello Sailor yeah. and all those bands coming yep. through. And I was, you know, when I was at high school, I was singing in pop bands, but I never thought you could do it for a living. I always mm. thought, well, I would end up I thought I would end up as a, as a TV journalist or something like that, but I knew I wanted to study, so I went to Victoria University. And in those days, university was free. And so I was singing in bands the mm. whole time. And then once I started singing in bands, then I started to get session work, a lot of jingle work, because mm. back in those days, there, jingles were king and there were a lot mm. of studio work. You know, basically, you still and, have to... But one job led to another. As, as and it's such a variety of jobs, theatre. Yeah. Television, singing, bands, yeah. you know, you've never stopped. I've never stopped because I've never said no to myself. I've mm. never said, no, you can't do that because you haven't mm. been taught it. I have mm. no I have no formal training, darling. Yeah. Oh, I see. Just <laughs> an ability to pick things up as I go. <laughs> and as I say to my kids, if you don't know something, ask questions. And that's mm. what I've done my whole life. Somebody said, mm. would you like to have a go at this? And I'll go, oh, sure, if you think I can mm. do it. Um, how do you do that? How do you do this? And then you just grow into the role. Yeah. And I think that's something that a lot of women should allow themselves to do. I think boys do it naturally. Mm. They go, oh, yeah, I'll do, yeah, it. I'll do it. Figure yeah. it out later. Yeah. But I think women are more likely to stand back and go, oh, I don't, mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't because I'm not mm. prepared enough. Whereas I've always been <laughs> shameless enough to go, yeah, I'll give that a go. Well, you well you have, you know, <laughs> and um, all you could have gone into politics and been another Jacinda, couldn't you? I don't think I can. I'm 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 too bossy. Mm. I think I don't. I think the sort of complicated nature of democracy, democracy would wear me down. Having to sort of all that, and all that arguing. I don't really. I'm not into discussion. arguing. I, li I like creative discussion, mm. yeah, but I don't like that kind of, you know adversarial mm. thing that we do here. So. so you're happy about Jacinda? Do you like what's happened? I, I, I'm it's happy about happen. a change. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think there's a lot of people who need help in this country and mm. they've been kind of left up in the gutter. <laughs> so yeah. I'm happy that yeah. we're going to be... It feels to me like we're going to return to our roots, which is mm. looking after one another a bit more. 
Now, you see yourself as blessed, don't you? I do see myself yeah, as blessed. Yeah, because um, you've had such a great life, haven't you? Well, you know, not everybody gets to do what they no, want no. to do and love to do. Mm. And I, I get to do what I, what I love and what I would mm. do anyway. Mm. I get paid for it. So that's a mm. huge blessing. Can you make a good living as an entertainer in New Zealand? Well, I can just, yeah. because mm. I, I'm not fussy. <laughs> and when I say I'm not fussy, is I'm not... I believe that I, what I do is communicate, mm -hmm. whether yeah. I'm talking to people or singing yeah. or in a play or whatever. And so I will do things, I work in the corporate sphere a lot and that's mm. where my bread and butter is. And I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not you know, going to be precious about that, yeah. you know, because if somebody wants to use my ability to talk and sing to entertain their clients or their workforce, then I'm, I'm really happy to do yeah. that. And you do it so well. I mean, the variety artists, you know, you were the MC. Not only did you do the little Kerry Takanawa bit, but uh, you were a wonderful MC. Thank now, you. that's a huge, is that a huge slice of work? It is. It mm. is. It didn't end, again, um, mm. back As well when as it, singing and all the other things. That, yeah, uh, and that's yeah. happened very naturally. I mean, mm. the first time I spoke to an audience was the first time a guitarist broke a string and I had to fill, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> and you soon learn what to say and how to... Um, how to communicate to people and I've always been I was always doing speeches and debates and things like that at school so you know back when you're on t when you're on TV in this country which I, I was presenting TV then you get yeah. lots of other opportunities so straight away the speakers agencies are on to you going oh do you want to MC this do you want to MC that and I'm thinking how do you do it nobody tells you they just yeah. say off you go yeah just get up there and talk just get up there yeah. and do it and yeah. so you soon you soon learn mm. you sink or swim just like anything yeah. else and so I've been doing it you know, for, for as long as I can remember. And I really love it. I, I love emceeing. I feel like a fairy godmother, sprinkling a little bit of showbiz dust wherever I go. <laughs> feel the dust. <laughs> feel the dust. <laughs> and, uh, Is there dust in here, Jerry? Is there dust in here? <laughs> 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 That's fairy dust. <laughs> That's fairy dust. <laughs> then you run into people that say, "Is that Jackie Brown or is that Jackie Clark?" Oh, I'm oh. I'm every woman when, yeah. in this country. Yeah. It's I, I'm either a member of When the Cat's Away, Jackie Brown, Michelle Court. Yes. Anybody vaguely forty to fifty, vaguely brown. That's me. So yeah. I, you know, we're, we're, I'm not fussy. If they, yeah. if they've done something good, if somebody says, "Oh, I saw you the other day telling a great joke at the such and such," I think, "Oh, that's Michelle Court." I say, "Oh yeah, thanks." <laughs> yes. I just take all take all the credit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must get it all the time because I was so impressed. So <laughs> if I was impressed, that means other people are impressed. Oh, are you hard to impress? Very hard. Are you now? Very hard. Okay. It takes, well. a, lot of, it takes a lot of Jackie Browns to impress. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, what are you feeling? Everybody can think, well, Jackie's great on stage, but... Um, what are you feeling while you're up there? When you hear that laughter and you know you've got the audience in the palm of your hands, do you feel that or do you think, gosh, I'm sinking or I'm, uh, I'm doing well? Um, uh, what are you thinking at, when it, it's all going well? When it's all going well, I get the most amazing feeling of freedom. Yeah. When I'm on stage and when, when whatever I'm singing or saying is just flowing just, yeah. and I can feel, it's palpable, you can feel yeah. the way an audience is responding to you yeah. and I'm flying and I'm thinking... Mm. This is my natural habitat. I, there's nowhere I'm happier. Yes. Um, or part, you know, I'm not talking about. It doesn't compare to your family life, but it's mm. this. It's this part of your life that you can't do without. Mm. That it's is as addictive as any drug I know, and um, and it's a healthy thing because the more you give, mm. the more you receive. So it's all about giving. It's all about giving, and yeah, it feels amazing and I tell young kids mm. when because I, I work a lot with kids now too um, getting them to sing and you know just getting them to feel mm. feel what it is what it's like when you work hard mm. when you put the work in and you've done enough preparation so that you can relax on stage mm. and just let it fly then magic happens yeah. so well, it does. it's now, magic just before they say Jackie <laughs> Clark any <laughs> nerves <laughs> no no I get nervous a few hours beforehand, mm -hmm. um, and it's not so much nervous, it's like um, a physical state of um, heightened, you know, like it's, it's a, my body's full of adrenaline and I'm mm -hmm. getting ready and, and I'm a bit pumped. And, and it has to, that has to happen or else you just wouldn't, mm -hmm. you couldn't kind of get yourself to where you need yeah. to be because it is a heightened state. Yeah. But before I go on stage, a wonderful sense of fatalism always descends on me. <laughs> I think, you know what? 
too late to worry about it now. It's going to be what it's going to be because I, I well, it isn't. It isn't. It's an odd. Maybe that's not the best word. No, but, it's great. But yeah. I often t say to say to people, listen, uh, prepare, 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 mm. then let it all go. Yeah. Do not let have your brain full of all the stuff you have to say mm. or sing. Yeah. Just let it come out. Yeah. But you do have to prepare. If you yeah. haven't got your ducks in a row, those ducks aren't going to be in a row when <laughs> They're you need murder them. you, aren't they? That's right. Now, what about? Coming down after a great performance, <laughs> a couple of hours. Can you go home and go straight to sleep? No, never, no. never. Well, is and the I, mind racing? The mind's racing, mm. and I have a little a ritual. I mean, I'm often if I come home, everybody else in the house is, is asleep. I'll, I'll when they wake up in the morning, they'll find on the kitchen table two false eyelashes, three used makeup wipes, a pile of bling, mm -hmm. <laughs> and an empty glass of red wine, mm -hmm. possibly a bag <laughs> some rice crackers. So <laughs> I've got home because I can't eat when. I perform, so I'm always starving. I need to have a glass of red wine just to go. <sighs> so, and then you know, it's just off comes the showbiz, and then you've got to do it all again the next. Well, day. the next yeah. morning you've got to mm. make porridge and you know make mm. sure people have got lunch money and it's mm. back to normal life. Well, you do a marvelous job. You were on the night I saw you, very Thank on, you. and uh, I was so impressed. <laughs> and I'm very hard to impress. So I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Clark. Oh. We're going to see you again in the future. I, I hope know so. it. It's in my bones. I can feel it. Oh, oh trust those bones, love. Trust those bones. <laughs> <laughs>